Hello, welcome to Creative Crafting by Katie. I'm going to show you guys how you can take a card that was give, given to you by somebody. This is from my friend Teresa. Um, you can actually order these cards from her, from Jeremiah Dreams. Um, she sent me this card, and I'm going to repurpose the card. Uh, I'm going to use one of these cute little wood cutting boards. You can find this at uh, creativecraftingbykatie.com. I sell those there. I've got four wood beads that I've already painted up with agave waverly chalk paint i'm also going to use some stain on my wood i'm going to use this little guy here for a cute little embellishment i've got a bunch of ribbons for a messy bow and that's pretty much what we've got going on i'm actually going to start with my hot glue i'm going to use this mold um i'm going to use this one here right here and i'm just going to take my hot glue and i'm going to squirt it in this mold you could also add some cornstarch to this if you want to have a little bit easier um, painting. Sometimes it doesn't paint up as well if you don't have that in there, but that's okay. That's just a step I forgot. Add a little cornstarch to it and you're good to go. All right, let's get this going with some Waverly Wax. I will stain both sides of the board. And I just use a baby wipe. You could also, if you want it a little bit lighter, you could also go in, wet it down like this on your surface. And then it will help spread out your wax from getting too dark. But if you like the dark look, then go for it. Plus, I mean, it's wood. It's going to be a little bit natural. Your wood grain is going to look different on both you know, in different areas, just depending on how it look, um, just depending on the wood grain. So you can do that. And then having the baby wipe helps keep it moist as well. Okay, and don't forget your sides. Super important. This is about a quarter, uh, uh, not a quarter inch, but this is about a half inch board, surface board here. These boards are perfect for all different kinds of crafts, and this is one of those crafts that it's perfect for. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this side here. Let me just dry it up a little bit because it's wet. wet it down with so much water um, you want to make sure that that you get that good and dry okay and then I'm gonna take this card and I'm gonna go like that and then I will take you can take a water pen or just some water in general and um, if you don't have a water pen you can just take a piece of wax paper or even a little container like this for your paint get some water in there this card stacks a little bit thicker, so you might need a little bit more water. I'm just gonna come in here and do like you would um, with scrap of paper and uh, rice paper, napkins, that kind of thing. I wanna get a jagged edge all the way around and get rid of some of this white. But you guys don't ever throw your cards away, You, especially when you get something that you think is just the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna come back here and get a little bit of water going on here, just so it's like, easier to tear and I gotta be careful because I'm known if you tear down it's usually a little bit easier for it to um, not tear into the project I don't want to lose my my rooster here so tear down and again this is cardstock so it's a little bit thicker to work with and just apply as much water as you need. That's why I was doing it on the back side too, because it helps if it doesn't soak through, at least it's gone, it's gotten it both directions here. So it helps to loosen it up a little bit, the cardstock, so to speak. Loosen it up, loosey goosey. 
just going to proportion this a little bit more. So there's not as much white. You can always cut this if you want it to be perfect, but that's not how I roll. I do not care for that look. I rather it be jagged. To me, that's more fun and more natural looking. Okay. I'm gonna leave some of this white here, but not all of it. All right, bring our board back in and then we're just gonna Mod Podge. I'm gonna Mod Podge the back of this surface just because I don't want it all over. Um, I don't want it all over my board. I don't want my whole board to have that, that sheen because I'm not gonna Mod Podge over the top of the card. I just need this here to stick on the back. A little bit different than when you're going to go ahead and go over the top of it. But that's not necessary with such thick cardstock. I mean, you can, but you don't need to. We're just going to center him the best we can on this board. I got a little Mod Podge there. Give him a good squish down there. Okay, how stinking cute is he? All right, let me dry him and see if it's gonna come up anywhere along the edges. I might have to go back in and just spot glue some of it. I actually kinda like the way that looks, but I'm going to take it and tack it down. I kinda like the way it looks like that, but, and if you have to, um, use some hot glue as well. Okay. I, I kind of like the way this is raising up a little bit cause it's giving it more of a three dimensional look. That's personal preference though. Now we're going to come in here and we'll take these four beads and we're going to put them on the corners of the board. You could just do two if you wanted like this or two up here. I just thought the four would look cute. It's pulling in some of this color here within the project. You could pick any one of these colors and you would be, it'd be perfectly fine. You could even paint the board one of these colors and it would be fine. Okay, so our mold is now ready to go. You can tell because it's more, a little bit more cloudy. This is a very delicate mold as you can see. And it, it's kind of broken already, but we're gonna, that's okay because we can glue it together or it, when we glue it on there, it'll be fine. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of red. This is called Dark Scarlet. And I'm going to come in here and paint this little scroll. This is just for fun. This is kind of to chic it up a little bit. Um, make it a little bit fancier. But you guys pick any mold that you want if you even wanted to do this. It's just, it's kind of a fun technique just to, to learn how, how to do it, okay? To learn how like you can use molds with hot glue or silicone or anything like that and how it, it can make a, a project just pull together. I'm gonna put my messy bow up here. So I'm not going, I'm not going to adhere it there. I'm actually gonna adhere it on the bottom I'm just gonna give a little bit of heat to this from a high up distance because remember this is hot glue and we totally do not want this to um, melt on us. And it does look like I missed it, kind of a tiny portion of that. Again, I don't worry about that kind of stuff. Um, you can always come back in and just do another little piece and put it in there. In the, in the hot glue mold. These don't take long to, to even set up even if you wanted to do another one. In the meantime, let's just hot glue our, our hot glue mold down. Okay. This is just for fun, just so fun, so fun. And I've got another little piece coming here. Okay, 
once that's done, we'll, we'll put it on there. So you just got a little bit of an added element down here. Now we'll come in with our messy bow and uh, fix that right up. I'm gonna start off with some burlap. And on the burlap, let me pull that back. I like to cut it and pull pieces off of it all the way around because I want all those frayed edges. I want that look of those little edges looking like that. So I like to take a couple off at each end in the sides when I do this. And these are actually really cute to put back in the project, uh, in the messy bow. I will show you that. These are gonna be my ends or my bottoms because they're thicker than the rest of them. And I'm just gonna make a little messy bow. I just wanted to show you guys how how I do that. You might already know this trick. Um, you might not, but you just take off as much as you like what looks good for you. Okay. So we're going to do this and I will match my ribbons. A lot of times I don't match my ribbons. You can do it either way. There's no right or wrong. And I've got some cute little fun ones here that have like watermelon on it. And some gingham, buffalo check, whatever you want to call that. Some blue, a little bit brighter. Try to pull in the colors of the project. It's really what I was doing when I pulled my ribbons. And then here's some cute little flowers to end it. But then what I'm going to do is take these, these little guys that I took out of there and add yourself some of those back, oops, back into the bow. The longer ones because it makes it, it makes it fun it really does give it some fun added texture in there at the end and then I will just zip tie this together and my bow is completely off kilter here what happened <laughs> oh let me just start over yes this is just a pre-recorded it's not a live video so you know we mess up this way just as we do when we're live but we are human and that's just that y'all fun. That's just going to go right in the middle. Okay. Cut that off. And then some of these I had already pre-cut. I had them all pre-cut, but some of these came from my uh, little stash of extras that I put in a drawer. So sometimes they're a little bit longer. Just trim it up. Makes a stinking cute bow, doesn't it? And I wanna leave that frilly stuff, but look at how fun that is with all of that that I pulled off of the burlap. That It makes it so much, I don't even know. It just adds a whole nother element, you guys. Okay, and then just to pull in another color, we're gonna come in here with a brighter blue on this for the button. You could add a little bit of bling or something like that to it. And then we're gonna put that messy bow right on the top of that. Let me see if this little round piece is ready to go. This is gonna teach y'all how you can mess up and still make it work. There we go. 
Then we'll use a little jute for this. This bad boy's not sticking. Put the string right through the little hole there that comes pre-drilled already. The hole comes pre-drilled. Again, the, the, the card that I'm using is a card that Teresa from Jeremiah Dreams had sent me. And I'm just repurposing it. Uh, she had a little note in there. And then the board is from creativecraftingbykatie.com, which is my website where you can get my wood cutouts. And that's where the little board is from. And so you can keep that knot there, or you could turn it back here if you don't want to see the knot. And you've got some stinking cuteness going on. One last thing that I would do is add a little bit of just stressing to, to the outside edge for sure. And then if you want to come in and, and tone them down a little bit, the overall project, just make sure you get all your white. We'll even antique these guys just a tad to tone down the project just a little bit. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'd love to see your projects that you make you, repurposing some of the cards that were gifted to you. Um, creativecraftingbykatie.com is the website for my stuff. Jeremiah Dreams is for the card. And if you guys want to join my free group to post that stuff, um, you can go to the Creative Corner and post all your projects. Y'all have a good one. Bye now.